All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app, step 36. All right, so the action attribute indicates where form data should be sent. For example, form action equals, and then a string with this uh, submit URL in it, and then a closed form tells the browser that the form data should be sent to the path uh, I don't know what slash submit URL. Okay, cool. I don't know. I don't really know what that means, but uh, we're going to add the action attribute with the value this to the form element. All right. So basically, we're just going to do this. It seems uh, action equals, and then in here we're going to put this. And that'll get us through it, but let's go back through this. The action, the action attribute indicates where form data should be sent. For example, this tells the browser that it needs to be sent to here. All right, so we're sending whatever we put into this. Here, let's look at what this looks like. There's still nothing. All right, so maybe we'll figure out more later. Uh, check the code. Looks good. Submit it. Now we're on step 37, and uh, we'll see you next time.